Welcome, I'm Joe Hodich. This is uh, the Paleomagnetism Lab of uh, Memorial University, Earth Sciences Department in St. John's, Newfoundland. The Earth's a big magnet, which we've known since Queen Elizabeth I and, and Shakespeare's time. When rocks uh, form, uh, a lava, for example, when it cools, goes through about uh, 700 degrees, 600 degrees, solidifies and it's, it's solid by then, but whatever magnetite is in the rock, and that's the main magnetic mineral, it's, uh, it will magnetize along the direction of the Earth's field at the time. And the Earth's field, it depends where you are. What, what, in particular, what latitude. If you're on the poles, the Earth's field is vertical. Hey, the, the, uh, the lava flow will, will, will magnetize vertically perpendicular to the surface of the Earth. If you're on the equator, it'll magnetize horizontally. So you can actually tell paleo latitude of, of, at which the rock formed using paleomagnetism. It was discovered that uh, the paleomagnetism of the sea floor had, had a pattern. It was symmetric. There were anomalies running down parallel to the uh, mid-ocean ridge axis and there was symmetric about the ridge axis uh, and the only way to explain it was that the continents were drifting apart and the ocean floor kept being created at the uh, ocean ridge axis. You know, within five years everybody believed that plates were moving, plate tectonics was, was born. Let's go back. 550 million years ago, okay? It's the late Precambrian, right? The, the Earth for a while there was, was covered by, com completely by ice. That's melted. Organisms, eh? Uh, fossils that we find in, in uh, Mistaken Point in, uh, here on the Avalon. World famous area, okay? We, we've got fossils, uh, creatures, a lot. most of them we don't have no modern equivalents, eh? We don't know what the heck they were. And it's important to know what sort of paleo latitude are we talking about? You know, are, is this, uh, are we talking about the equator? Are we talking about the pole? And we can tell paleomagnetically here on, on the Avalon, we would have been, oh, probably about uh, 30 degrees south of the equator, something like that. The same time, uh, Western Newfoundland was part of North America. We were 20 degrees south of the equator. Okay, we were about the same sort of paleo latitude that Rio is now. That's 550 million years ago. Five hundred years ago, it was realized that uh, lodestone that that the Earth was a big magnet, sort of like a like a lodestone, right? Uh, and it was actually uh, Queen Elizabeth the First's physician uh, who. Uh, wrote about this. Uh, yeah, you can see the magnetic field lines. Uh, you can see there's a, there are two poles, right? This is like the North Pole of the Earth, the South Pole of the Earth, the equator. Rocks forming at the uh, North Pole will magnetize vertically, uh, and uh, whereas on the equator they'll, they'll magnetize horizontally. Hey, this is what paleomagnetism is all about, exploits that. You go about it, you uh, you, 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 know, you have your sampling bag along with you, uh, right? You just walk in along the trail, down, down to the beach. There they are, rocks are exposed. You put a couple of horizontal marks, like so and like so, uh, more or less at right angles on the rock so that you can bring it back to the lab and reorient it and drill it. Okay, oh, and you need a, a north arrow, right? So, which you put on with your, with your compass. Um, and uh, actually these rocks are quite magnetic so I actually had to use a sun compass but uh, normally I can get away with, a, with, with, uh, with an ordinary compass. This thing is magnetic enough to deflect the, the compass needle by a few degrees, you know, you get a little bit of error. Um, and uh, anyhow, you, uh, yeah, you got it marked, right? Horizontal marks, north arrow, you got your hammer and chisel and you bang like so. 
and uh, we brought those back to the lab and then you reset them back to horizontal right you get your you know <laughs> you got your horizontal marks on it uh, so you can you can get them back the way it was originally encase it in plaster and then drill okay drill press uh, this is a diamond drill it's broken now but uh, <laughs> and you know you, you drill drill holes get uh, cores and uh, you end up then with little cylinders like this one here uh, this is actually from this rock Uh, we have our sample in its uh, plastic holder. There's the north uh, side of it, the east, up, down. And we're going to measure its magnetization. Uh, to uh, do that, we use the uh, spinner magnetometer here, which is... Uh, there it is there. Uh, the, uh, so we shall start, uh, we have it written down here, what we do, uh, spin one, uh, there's six spins. We, uh, each of these spins gives us two two measurements. Uh, we'll start by measuring uh, east, the, uh, this, uh, the north-south and the east-west uh, magnetizations. Okay, so you put this in, uh, east is X and uh, north is Y, and it goes in like that. Spin the sample, it goes into this magnetically shielded space. Uh, okay, there's zero field inside there and there's a uh, there's a horizontal rod, which uh, is a magnetometer, actually, is, is measuring the, uh, uh, the magnetization of the spinning sample, and it, it gives you those two components. The east-west component is, is here, and the north-south there, and we, uh, you know, we, yeah, we'll enter them into the, into the computer. Uh, spin one, in-phase quadrature, in-phase quadrature. Uh, then we would uh, stop the sample, the uh, spinning and uh, reorient the sample. Next time it's going to be uh, south x, west y, etc. Uh, until we've done all six spins, that gives us um, that gives us uh, six times two, twelve measurements, uh, four for each of the three axes, uh, and then the, the those will all be entered in here, and th along with the strike and dip. The computer program then uh, that my uh, former student Michael Wheeler wrote, <laughs> and he, he uh, excellent thing. It will give you the, the direction of magnetization. I actually, plot things as well uh, for you, and uh, will yeah will will give you before untilting and after untilting the rock. <laughs>